Welcome everyone, Eagles insider Dave Spadaro here with the Hall of Famer Brian Westbrook. It's our self-scout, presented by Golden Nugget Jewelers, where Philly gets engaged. The Eagles, staying alive, <laughs> staying alive. That's what it's all about. Big win in Chicago. What, Brian, like just before we get into the offensive thing, the emotions that you had watching it, the, the craziest final yeah. couple of minutes of a football game that you will ever see. Yeah, I'm with a couple of my friends. We're watching the game, going back and forth, and then we, we finally score. So we, of course, we celebrate that, and then the, the, the Bears drive all the way down. And now we're nervous. Now we're saying, Doug, you got to use your timeout. Ice the kicker just a little bit. Doug does. But then he kicks it through easily. And now I'm, I'm even more worried. And then, you know, of course, the faithful kick, Cody Parking lines up, gets a hand on it. Uh, Hester gets a hand on it, hits the upright, and usually those balls that hit the upright in that area fall in. For us to get the great bounce, hit the upright, and then hit the crossbar, and then come out, win, it's victory a, Eagles. It's a double doink victory. Yeah, yeah. And the <laughs> Eagles move on to New Orleans on Sunday in the NFC's divisional playoff round. We are here to talk about the Eagles offense, and we begin with the offensive line. What a performance from Lane Johnson, mm -hmm. Jason Peters on the edges, Isaac Sayamalo back in the starting lineup at left guard. Brandon Brooks, Jason Kelsey against Brian. A front that people need to understand, the best in the NFL, the front mm -hmm. seven, the way they play and the aggressiveness that they play with. Yep. Eagles did a terrific job keeping Nick Foles clean. The Bears had the most aggressive, the most tenacious, the toughest, the most physical front seven, front four really, that get after the quarterback in the entire uh, NFL. Uh, Khalil Mack does a great job of coming off the edge, and he tried yesterday. He started out on Jason Peters, couldn't get anything done. Jason Peters played his best game of the season yesterday. He flipped over to Lane Johnson, which he normally does, back and forth, couldn't get any work with Lane Johnson. And listen, if you want to win in the NFL, your offensive line has to dominate. And for us, our offensive line has gotten healthier, and they've played much better these last month of the, the season. What did you think of the way Doug schemed this thing up, Doug and Mike Grow throwing the football? Yep. Still, though, running the football enough just to keep it honest, keep the Bears respecting the run game. 42 yards on the ground, but 23 attempts, so a bit of balance there. But for Nick Foles, there were targets down the field. Yeah, Nick took some shots down the field, and I think you're right. Doug did commit to the run, 23 rushes. He did commit to the run, gave his offensive line some opportunities to lean on these defenders just a bit. That wears your defense down as you get into the third and fourth quarter. And then that makes them play a little bit more honest as far as respecting the run game. They have a great front. We understand why uh, that run game wasn't as successful. But when you talk about Nick Foles throwing the ball down the field, taking some shots, Nelson Aguilar, taking some shots, to Alshon Jeffrey. That opens up the offense just a bit and allows other guys, Zach Ertz as well as Golden Tate, to work in the middle of the field. So early on, the Eagles, they go right down the field. They score on a field goal. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, all right, let's get a two-score situation here, make Mitchell Trubisky come yeah. back. The Eagles are going to win this game. And then the interception kind of changed everything. Yeah. The Eagles didn't get – Roquan Smith steals the ball away from Wendell Smallwood. Mm -hmm. In that instance, what should Wendell Smallwood do? Is there anything you can do to well, yeah, prevent it's that? Well, yeah, it's kind of a bang-bang thing. It's hard to blame either guy, but as a receiver, uh, you just want to try to catch it and cradle it as soon as you can. Tough to do, especially when the ball is almost there at, and your defender is there at the same time. He's trying to rip the ball away. And so you just try to do anything you can to come down with the ball. And I think he probably tried to do that. Great play by the defender. And then Nick, his second interception, not a good decision. Yeah. Rolling to his right, uh, stepping up in the pocket, throwing the ball into coverage in the end zone. Just a bad decision. Again, stunting a drive and preventing the Eagles from extending the lead. Yeah, well, one of the things that – in that play, there actually was four guys right yeah. around uh, the receiver in that play. It's just a terrible read, terrible decision by Nick. And Nick has done very well of not making those types of mistakes as the season has progressed. Unfortunately, he did there. The one thing I love about Nick, after that throw, he stayed aggressive. He still went down the field. He still make a lot of big throws. That's the thing that you love about a veteran quarterback. Eagles are trailing late in this ball game, And then a poor punt from the Bears sets mm -hmm. the Eagles up at their 40-yard line. And then it becomes Nick Foles' magic time. 12-play drive, 60 yards. Eagles get into the red zone. They convert a big third and nine on a throw to Alshon Jeffrey. Huge play. Dallas Goddard earlier, huge catch. And on fourth down, Brian, the Eagles put the football in Nick Foles' hand. Little yeah. sprint to the right side, 
throw in the end zone. What has to happen on that play to make it work? So many different things, and I think Darren Sproles was in the game, and he has to first get a block on the edge, and he didn't get that block, but he did make the defender go inside. Nick Foles is able to roll outside just a bit. Then you have to get open. I mean, a big thing, you're talking about Golden Tate, who hasn't had a lot of passes throughout the seasons once, once he came over in the trade. He has to find a way to get open in a sprint option, and that's what we used to call a sprint right option. And the defenders kind of understand exactly when you're in that set trips or, or, or twins to your right side. That's what a lot of teams do. The, the first receiver on the outside goes straight down the field to clear an area, and the second receiver goes out. Golden Tate did a great job of selling the route. First he looked inside, made the defender look, and then he went to the outside, was wide open for Nick Foles to find him. Eagles turned the football over twice. They're minus two in the turnover differential on Sunday and unbelievably and numbers wise statistically you do not win games in the NFL when you're at a minus two and the Eagles somehow won it Brian in clutch time Nick Foles again yeah. what is it as you watch him we've talked about him for two years here does anything surprise you with Nick at this point? I don't think anything surprises me. I think his demeanor helps him. I think the guys believe in him. I also know that uh, as the games goes on their receivers and, and, and tight ends and running backs, they lose interest if they're not getting the ball an awful lot. Nick keeps all of them alive because he spreads the ball around. He gets Goddard involved. He gets Alshon involved. And when you're a defense, you're saying, I'm not sure who he's going to throw the ball to. I don't know who to key on. Nick just gets everyone involved. And when you see your offense clicking like that, it bodes well for your team. So that's it. It was the kind of game we expected, down to the wire, defensive-oriented, yep. very physical. Eagles throwing the football much more effectively than I think, Brian, a lot of people thought. Good scheme, good execution, and you get the idea. This team has a lot of weapons, and they're going to need them on Sunday in That's New right. Orleans. So, great good stuff. Great win. Anytime you can win in the playoffs in somebody else's house, it's important. Great win for the Eagles. Good start to the there playoffs. There we go. That is our self-scout presented by Golden Nugget Jewelers, where Philly gets engaged. Brian Westbrook, Dave Spadaro, thank you so much for joining us.